so the first movement we're going to go into is a rock mat. So you can play around with different positions with the knees. I like going knees slightly wider than hip width apart, sitting back. And now one thing we want to make sure is I'm not overly arched in my back here or overly tucked down like this. We're going to just have a nice natural uh, spinal curve back here. And from this position, as I'm rocked to all the way back, I'm naturally spreading my sit bones a little bit, okay? So I'm, I'm kind of playing into that, that uh, pelvic floor positioning when I'm at that full inhale. So I'm here, I'm gonna focus on just breathing in through my nose with the tongue on the roof of my mouth, which helps create a seal so you can pull with your diaphragm better. And I'm just gonna pay attention to the breath. Rather than try to force it or direct it right now, just pay attention to it. What you want to notice is what fills, what, how does the breath kind of fill your body? Is it kind of starting from the navel and wrapping itself around your back and then filling up towards the chest as you get to the top of your inhale? Or is it starting up high and kind of staying up high as you breathe? So ideally we breathe in three, three dimensions. I'm breathing forward, side, and backwards all at the same time as well as having this gentle rise up to the chest and fall back down. So I'm gonna practice that in the rocked back position, and then I'm also gonna practice that in the rocked forward position. So now I'm leaning out, there's a little bit more tension on the core already from this position than there was before. My sit bones are coming together, which is gonna uh, kind of uh, uh, simulate my exhale pattern. So I'm here, again, not letting there be a big drop in the low back, just nice and normal. If you get really good at this, you can actually start feeling your pelvic floor moving with your breath. It can take some while to develop sensitivity down there in the beginning. Now, we have those rock back positions. That is very similar, that rock back position is very similar to a squat position. So this is another progression we can do to add more load to the system. Is say, okay, you can breathe on the hands and knees, but can you breathe when you're squatted or standing? And here I'm okay to let the tailbone relax a little bit. I like this one too because I can feel the breath going into the thighs. I'm focusing on your breathing there. So try that as your baseline, the rocked back, rock forward, and then if you're ready for it, try the deep squat breathing position.